Oh man, oh man, oh man. Here we go. <laughs> what is this stuff? Oh, we're going to talk about racism today. Uh, that's what it's going to be. Um, it's going to be a short live stream, a little bit short. I'm just going to talk. Some people who are out there <clears throat> who really love, really love these pastors who speak racism garbage are mad at me and they cannot actually come at me with any point that I'm wrong. They come at me with, you have a potty mouth. That's what they got. What I want to do is talk about racism and I want to beat this to death. Okay. I want to beat it down. I'm tired. Um, I am under the weather right now. Okay. I'm not as animated as I'm going to be, but uh, we have to talk about this. Um, racism is stupid. Okay. <laughs> it's stupid. It's stupid. As a kid growing up in high school, I went to a school with about five, 6,000 kids, about 15 black people. There are some Asians in there, whatever. Um, and then I went from that and then to my senior year, went to Deep South, where there was only 15 white people, I think, in the graduating class, something like that. So I know a little bit about racism. I know a little bit about it. And these people that call themselves pastors out there are, are making race an issue about salvation is stupid. It's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Pancake cow. How's it going? So here we are. I'm going to do, a, you know, I just did a video doing commentary on what someone had to say about me. They're very respectful. I, I enjoy that. People who want to comment on my stuff. That's the way to do it. No problem. I like it. But I do want to beat down this thing. Where a lot of people are coming at me. Where like. If you subscribe to Brian Denlinger. You must be a racist. I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. If you're not in the video production. Industry. And you're not in the, uh, you're not, this isn't what you do. You know, if you're just a guy watching and you're sub to him, you're supporting racism. You are. Show me one thing that says the guy isn't racist. Show me one thing. One thing. Just give me one thing that says the guy ain't a racist. He'll say, I believe that all the racists have all their own individual parts. And one mixed with him, though, that's racism. And he says, I don't want anything bad to happen to us that are racist. You're still a racist. Okay. I want to beat this thing down, beat it down because it's nonsensical. Nonsense. If you're in another country, maybe not. But if you're in America, like Brian Denlinger is, and me, it's not. It is completely insane. So that's what we have. That's what we have. Anyone who want, <clears throat> this is sort of a, uh, you know, um, open stream. Pancake Hell, if you want to come on. I, I want to make the pure clarification that if you support people that are racists, you are racists, okay? Period. I, there's nothing I can do to say. Sky Everlasting, if you want to come on to. I don't think I have your email. So what we have is a guy who's been going for, you know, 10 years, something like that. And in the last couple of years, he wants to double down on the fact that, hey, I'm a racist. I really love white people. 
and that's who he is. And then when I call it out, people are mad at me. <laughs> I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what? But that's how it is. You know, that's the world of the internet. People are mad at me because I call out a racist for who he is. And they say that I'm judging them because they subscribe to him. I am. If you follow the guy, you're a racist. Same as if you follow Steven Anderson, you're a racist. That's how it is. And I make no bones about it. No bones. Yeah, that's that's how it is. Keep out of Max. Well, you know, I'm trying. You know, um, I'm a little little bit under the weather right now and um that's how it is um but i wanted to talk about this whole issue because it's stupid it has nothing to do with the bible nothing do you understand all that stuff in the old testament is largely to the jewish people New Testament. Everybody saved. Oh, what's up, Jason? Pancake out. Racism shouldn't even be a thing. Yeah, pancake out. How old are you? Like, like 15 or something like that? This kid knows it. He knows it. No, I am going to beat down repeatedly every time this idiot comes out with um, things that say that because of your race, it's harder to get saved, or you can't be saved, or it's sin, or it's fornication, or something like that the guys of the devil and you look at them you can tell the guys of the devil you can look at them and you can see that it's bad and there are people are you know mad at me because i use coarse language and they say that i use ad hominem attacks no i don't i don't they don't tell me what the ad hominem attack is they don't tell me what my course language is they don't tell me anything they just say that's what it is and that's why they can't believe me well <laughs> last i checked i'm not a pastor i'm just a dude who makes videos on the internet so that's how it is how it is i'm a total heretic completely all right, well, what I'll do is I am going to beat down this um, question into the ground, okay? And please, you know, excuse me, I'm, I don't feel very good, but there it is. Everybody can come up and go talk. Um, I'm not going to be the boisterous man I usually am. Go on and uh, go on, click on that if you want to talk to me. And we're talking about um, racism. That's the main topic here. And we'll probably go for another 15, 20 minutes, something like that. <laughs> so, what we have is. People out there basically make their income. I mean, make their income off being racist people. Who the, who the heck can make their income off that? We got, we got one guy. You know who that is. A lot of people too. Racist people. And they, you know, is your skin color actually 
something down there? Is your skin color actually something to do with God? Absolutely not. Where in the Bible does it say that? Nowhere. But, eh, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. All right, well, I'm going to have a problem with what, you know, people are upset with me. I'm going to have a problem with what Brian said about interracial marriage. I'm going to have a problem with what he said about salvation. I'm going to have a problem with it. And I'm going to say it, period. But the biggest thing is you have this interracial problem. That's, yeah, there are bad people that are different races. There are bad people that are your same race. You mix that with Christianity, you're messed up. You're messed up. All right, so I'll answer a couple of questions. Like I said, I'm kind of not feeling well. Brian can handle the Ruth and Boaz. Well, he tried to. He came out with a video. It was a stupid video. <laughs> it was a stupid video. I did like five minutes of it, and I'm like, this guy is this guy is done. It was stupid. Aaron Good hope we get better soon. I should be. It's not uh, not a big deal. I'm just really tired for the last two days. Not a big deal. For Brian, it not okay to give money to church buildings, but it's okay to give money to build the pastor's house. Yeah. Um, Brian Dunninger has this thing like he does a lot of dumb stuff with his money, and it's the body of Christ money. Okay. <laughs> he just does stupid stuff. He bought a truck that was rusted out. And then he had to buy a new one. Now he bought a, a four-wheel drive ambulance, <laughs> So we can go out and go cruise around. And he bought 60 or 80 acres with the body of Christ money. And it was so far away from his place that it takes him basically all day long to drive down there and to drive back. And he still says he's doing work for the body of Christ. Huh. <laughs> sounds to me like it's sounds to me like I'm just I'm just paying for this guy to put food in his mouth. He ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing nothing. What has the guy done? Told me how much of a racist I am. <laughs> Craziness. Bill ABC TV. I'm on Google Hangout, but can't come on. Do I video call you? Um, it's probably because it's international. So, yeah, Jason. Yeah, that's how it is. So, I'm going to go back to racism and beat it into the ground there is nothing in the bible about race you can talk about oh the canaanites the philistines we can talk about those guys the canaanites and the philistines uh has nothing to do with what we're doing today nothing nothing Really, why, if interracial marriage wasn't about, it wasn't in the Old Testament, then why are the last four chapters of Ezra about interracial marriage? They're not. They're not. Bill. 
pancake out gas on the link through email. Um, yeah, well, I guess. Sorry, I have to mess around with this. I have to figure out what his name is. I'm looking at Docs anybody. There we go. Sky Everlasting that I see his latest video asking for money. Unfortunately, I did. And it's very unfortunate. Um, people give this guy money. He has his house. Yes. A four-wheel drive um, ambulance in this background for him, you know, just so we can go pick up his crap. And it's like, Dude, you ever you never heard of a U-Haul? You never heard of a U-Haul? The guy literally spends the body of Christ money because he there is no consequence. He didn't he didn't work for it. So he's like, I'm just gonna spend. I'm gonna spend everything I got. Whatever. Body of Christ can pay for it. Pancake, you gotta shut your mic down. Hello? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had, um, I just wanted to say that, remember the Jesus set, talked about the Good Samaritan? Mm hmm Yeah, that's, a, that's exact, that's what we should be like. And uh, the Samaritans, and I think there was a Jew who, who got attacked. I'm not sure. I gotta go to the verse, but he got attacked. And Samaritans and Jews were known for uh, hating each other just because of their race. And so, I but, think it was probably more than race. Yeah. Oh, it was. I think that everything I've seen in the Bible has been because of uh, fornication and because of the gods they're worshiping. It had nothing to do with the skin color. Okay. <laughs> well. But, you know, by all means, but that's what I see in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah but I believe that race, like race, you shouldn't judge people by the color of their skin. That's just dumb. But it's just. Well, I'm, a, I'm a dumb, I'm a dumb white honky. <laughs> well, who's going to listen to me? Yeah, but... um, Shepherd's ambassador, ever hear of character We Are the Light? Yes. I think he got banned because he was talking crap. So, yeah, I know of him. I played guitar with him. Brett, the last generation. Here you go. We're talking about racism, Brett, as you're coming in. And this is a subject that incredibly ticks me off. Um, unfortunately, I am not feeling up to like 100%. You know, I'm like 75%, something like that. I'm kind of feeling ill. But I want to beat this down, okay? I have to beat this down. There cannot be Christian pastors out there who, who teach racism. There cannot. Those people... Are insane those people are teaching a false gospel those people are bad and i'm a dude um i don't know uh, much like you are but um jimmy jack o'neill stuff like that we've been around the block and we've been in multi-racial things and it wasn't a christian or a religious thing but we're fine. And when pastors come out there and they say, oh, this skin color, he's, oh, he's up there of Cain. He's a, he's a son of Ham. Therefore, he's cursed. Those people, those people need to be pointed out. 
and said to be dirtbags. That's how it is. How it is. Besides, how does skin color have to do with spirituality in any way? How is it harder it to get nothing. someone saved? It's just, it has nothing. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, uh, Brett, there's there's only there's only a few words I can use now because everyone gets mad at me because I say the word crap. <laughs> Everyone's mad at me. Oh, it's hard. I have to put my earphones on. And I can't have my three year old because you, you said crap. <laughs> it's, it's like what? What? What are you talking about? Craziness. Craziness. All right. I don't know. Um. Brett, do you have anything to say about this? Otherwise, I'll probably call it. But, you know, I wanted to shut this down because it's an ongoing issue. And what's funny is people come back at me for calling somebody a racist when it's obvious they're a racist. And they come back at me like, how dare you call them a racist? Like, what? <laughs> You look at the video, you look at the guy said, the guy said this stuff and I don't cut and paste. I don't do anything. I run the whole videos and I make commentary on it. Dude's racist. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. And people are upset because I hurt their feelings or something. Um, <clears throat> maybe they donated money or something like that. And they're all just mad. I'm like, well, I'm not for racism. <coughs> I'm not. <coughs> I'm not for racism. And all those people can go. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get away with that. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get away with that. All right. Uh, White people can't marry black people. I'm yeah, not. A ra I'm not racist. Oh, you have you have to uh, believing's not enough. I'm not a lordship salvationist. Oh man, that whole lordship salvation thing goes like way beyond everything that uh, I even talk about because it's so stupid. What the guy is? What the guy is even talking about? It. it... He says over and over again, he's not lordship salvationist. But we come up with the definition of Lordship Salvationist and he fits it every single time. And now he comes out with, I mean, it's fine. If you don't like the doctrine of the Trinity, fine. You don't like that. That's not a salvation issue. It's a doctrine issue. Not a salvation issue. Fine. You don't like the Trinity. Fine. But then you come up with this racism stuff. And it's like, what? What? What are you talking about, man? I mean, what the what's the point of missionaries? I mean, <laughs> what's the <laughs> point? We're gonna go out there to go with some other races. You're all lost because you're not white. <laughs> you're not Germans. <laughs> it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I I very much dislike that. And um, there are some people who are, you know, want to comment and good. Good for commenting. And I think I have my thing on. Um, I have the link up there somewhere. Anyone who wants to come on and just talk about this for briefly, um, like 15 minutes or something like that. Um, not, not, a, not a huge deal, but it's something that I want to talk about. I want to stamp it into the ground. Max Bauer is not a racist. Okay. Max Bauer is not a racist and that is it and there are dirt bags out there who are saying if you're not a racist you're not a christian and that is bad <laughs> that is bad that's very bad so that's where i'm at that's where We're living in a society today where people care more about feelings 
they do about facts, trying to have an open discussion about a problem. People don't want this anymore. They just want to ramble. Yes. And that's from narrow. Absolutely. Yeah. It's been that way for about 10 years. Um, it's sad. And what's odd to me is people actually formulate ideas in their head and they come to try and, um, you know, beat me down or something in comments. Um, they have an opposition to what I'm saying and they come in there and they're actually pretty well put together. And I'm like, okay, well then I'll put my comment back and they come back. And it's still a good comment. Where are these people coming from? And then they're mad because I say, well, if you support Brian Denninger, you're a racist. And, and then they're like, I'm not a racist. I subscribe to Brian Denninger, but I'm not a racist. Brian Denninger has been doing nothing but racist garbage for six months, at least. Over that. I mean, that's the guy is a racist. Okay. The guy is a racist. The guy is a work salvation racist. Yeah. What do you want me to say about that? Um, I, when I do my commentary videos, I do not cut anything. Okay. I make commentary exactly on what the guy says. There's nothing, there's nothing out there that, that I'm twisting anything that the guy says. He's work salvation, lordship salvation, racist. That's what the guy is. And if you support him, I say that you are a racist too. And people have a problem with that. I'm like, well, have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with being a racist. I don't have a problem with that. Supporting the dude. <laughs> Go do it. Go do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's not going to work out for you. One thing I would ask these pastors is what if they were born a different race than white? They'd exactly. Probably <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You, Brian Denlinger is going to be born in Africa. What's he going to do? <laughs> he's going to be an Islamic guy. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. He's going to go wherever the money is. <laughs> Jason, try to call me and see if that works. Um, well, it's, yeah, you can call me on the phone. Doesn't work through uh, YouTube. Sky Everlasting Max Bauer is not a racist. Darn tootin. This... The Good Samaritan is people from two different habitations. The Shepherd's Ambassador. Yeah. No. I got to read that verse again. I don't know. All right, well, that's all good. I mean, I want to talk about <laughs> the crap that I give like Brian Denninger, and I hate using the guy's real name, but the guy, Lordship Salvationist, okay? Doesn't believe the Trinity. Fine. I mean, that's not a big deal to me. But then he's a racist on top of it. And people are flooding to give him money. Now Brian needs $40,000 because of all the poor choices he made in his life. He needs $40,000 to move from where his current house is to his other house. And it's the body of Christ problem to pay for. It's your problem. It's your problem. As long as you're not black, then I'll refund. No, I won't refund. Oh, wait, he doesn't take money from lost people? He says, I'm lost. Where's my money back? Guy's a coward, a liar, and a piece of crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's how it is. So, yeah, money, 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 money. Yeah. Money. They care about, they all care about money. 
Yeah, all he does because he doesn't do anything else. <laughs> no. No. And you know, I'll say everyone's a, uh, I had a couple of comments of people like, all the all I'm doing is doing clickbait titles for my videos so I can make money. I'm like, I made nothing. <laughs> I made what? Um maybe fifty dollars a month? Maybe. Maybe I turned off monetization too. So it's like I don't make anything and I don't care. <laughs> it's like not my thing. Uh yeah, that's what I do. That's fine. It's fine. Praise be for God for everything. Absolutely, Brett. Absolutely. Um, some of these things, they come up after, you know, they've probably been up for a week or something like that. And people send me this. And, you know, my wife sent me one actually that I haven't done a video on, and I probably won't do a video on, about basically Chad Wilson. And the video upset me. But at the same token, I'm not going to give the guy, I'm not going to give the guy any whatever, Trump up, Kermuffins, something. Just not going to do it. And that's upsetting. That, that's one man. Okay. That's one man. And he's a big man. He can take care of himself. He can take care of doing his own video. When you're talking about a racism thing, and the guy has 28,000 subscribers. You're talking about race stuff. Yeah. That's not one man. Okay. That's bigger than one man. And you're talking salvation and you're talking a whole bunch of other stuff. Very bad. Okay. Very bad. What they, what this guy is doing. I wonder so. what percentage of people who are not white are subscribers to his channel. And follow him. Um, I don't know. I'd like to ask him. Unfortunately, the guy doesn't um, have a have a telephone. Apparently. Oh. Hey, what's up, weird light? I need a key. Hey, Max. How you doing? I'm good. You? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'm a little under the weather. A little bit. I'm kind of tired, but yeah, it's all good. I haven't oh. haven't talked with you in a while. No, no, no. Yeah, we have to play guitar or something. <laughs> Lord, shit. What do you think about uh, what do you think about uh, preachers that are preaching racism? Well, my question is, what do you define racism as? Skin color. Saying like, that, saying that other races are inferior, or you just hate another race. Okay, so you hate another race. Okay, based just based on no, no, no. Okay. I don't define it as that at all. No, I, 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 I say making distinctions between races. I don't, it, this is Brian Dellinger, okay? This is Brian Dellinger's stuff. I don't hate other races. I just want them to be separate from me. Okay, that's still racism. That's not, that's not being right. The thing is, the thing is, though, Max, like, if I love the Jews, for example, okay, mm -hmm. and the Jews are God's chosen people, right? God chose, and we know they're a race. So is God a racist then? Well, back in the Old Testament, he was going for the Jews and had a special thing for them. Has nothing to do with New Testament. But is it aren't they still a chosen race today? Um yes and no. <laughs> what do you mean yes and no? Um they are they are the ones who are going to be the subject of the New World Order and um all the bad things coming down. Yeah. But they are the they are the subject of it. But everybody who saved Gentiles Bro. that's that's the thing though like i think i honestly think the jews are a superior race no like okay, I, don't. I, I don't think i don't think I it's think racism 
<laughs> I think I literally think they're just dudes walking around the same as us. <laughs> I, dude, come on, man. I mean, they they worshiped a golden calf when they saw God up on the mountain, and they know Moses went up there to go talk to God. And what do they do? Oh, let's burn our earrings and stuff so we can make a golden calf. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, come on. They're just people. They're just people. Here's the definition of racism. It, I looked it up, and it was racism is the belief of superiority of one race over another. The ideology underlining racist practices often include the idea that humans can be subdivided into district, distinct groups. Let's see. I think that's a bad definition, <laughs> honestly. What do you define like, race as? Like, you hate other races. Oh, come on, yeah. man. That's not racism. Yeah. That's yeah. not racism. You don't, have to hate, mean, you don't have to hate other races in order to be a racist. Or, no or maybe, okay, maybe this. You think races are superior, which are not superior. I, I still don't d- agree with that. <laughs> no. Like... Like the Jews are a superior race, though. Um, I don't agree with that either. Okay, God, God chose them in the old. God chose them, Max. Oh yes, like, God did choose them, but yeah, I don't agree with them being a superior race. Um, they are the same race that came from Adam and Eve. They're the same race that came from Noah. They're the same race. They're the same people. Okay, we can all procreate together. It's all fine. And racism is based on somebody's skin color, not based on anything else, whether it be their religion, whether it be their um, work ethic, or whether it be anything. It's always based on what the color of their skin is, is going to be what dictates your position in life. Okay. So if that's okay, if that's how you define racism, the color of your skin. Yeah. And I, I agree with you there because there's different definitions of the word race. Actually, you can talk about race in the sense of people with different skin color, different physical characteristics, mm-hmm. but then you can talk about race in the sense of people from the same de- uh, descendant. For example, the Israelites, they're the descendants of, you know, Israel, the Hebrews, they're the descendant of Eber, right? Mm-hmm. So these are, you know, it's a race in a different sense. So I would have to agree with you there. All right. Well, would you agree that your skin color is different than mine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. No, nope. you <laughs> you're, you're less of a Christian because your skin color is not the same as mine. Hey, that that's racism. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Only I know the truth because I'm a white guy. <laughs> and I'm wearing two sweatshirts because I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it is. That's how it is. Um Bronco the third, Dungslinger the racist. The man who can't read scripture. Yes, um, un- unfortunately, the guy can't read. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why the guy can't read. I think he's actually trying to go out of his way to get, you know, subscribers and people, you know, clickbait, stuff like that. I think that's what he's doing. Because the stuff he comes out with is just stupid. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm beating down racism. That's the whole point of the entire live stream. I'm going to beat it down. Because racism is stupid. All right. Culturalism. Now, if you're culturalism, it doesn't matter what color you are, but if you're in a certain culture and you're at war with another culture, you're going to have some back and forth going. Okay. But as far as Christianity goes, you live in America, it doesn't matter the color of your skin. You're Christian. Mm. You're a Christian. Someone's, just- someone in the comments said, Jews also have different color of their skin. <laughs> but you yeah. see, they they can be mixed Jews, you know? Oh, a lot of them are. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah it doesn't be- matter. I mean, you listen to Steve Anderson. He says that everybody's a Jew. <laughs> Everybody has a Jew in them. That's so, so. stupid. <laughs> really yeah, it is. It is stupid. 
I know. <laughs> it's not true. I can bet you I'm not a Jew. <laughs> but well, I, I, I know my lineage, and I am Czechoslovakian, which is the most atheist country on the planet. That's what I am. Huh. I'm Czechoslovakian, German, and a little bit of Irish. That's what I am. And you, and it's pretty funny. <laughs> and you can't be a supporter of Darwin without being a racist because they talk about how, you know, some yep. people are less evolved and some people are more evolved. Mm -hmm. Yep. And when I started my channel, that was exactly what I talked about. And the atheists hate that because mm -hmm. they will get kicked off of YouTube. They will get kicked off for being hate speech people because you have to accept the fact that there are more evolved people than other people. In according to Darwinism, who are those people? Well, obviously, it's the white people are the best. And then, you know, if there's a black guy on the on YouTube, it's going to be the black people are the best. And that's how it is. It's, you know, I, I, I feel bad for that. And I want to get back into doing more stuff about atheism. But that's. I think that um, the most important thing is dealing with people who are in my camp, um, King James Bible believing only people, uh, pre-sure relation rapture people, and calling them out for the crap that they say. And that's what I'm doing right here. And, you know, I'll probably go after I pretty much bet, in fact, that I'm going to go after those atheists later. <laughs> but right now, that's what I got. And um, I do respect, I want to say, I love the comments that people um, put on the videos. I do, I do read them. Sometimes I can't if they're like a month, couple of months old or something like that. But I do like the comments and I read the comments. And if you're challenging me on something, I want that. Okay. I want you to challenge me. And there is nothing that Brian Denlinger has done in five years, okay, to challenge me, other than to dox me. That's all he had. That's the only thing the guy could do was break the law against me. That's it. Ed Feniger, nothing. Okay. Robert Breaker, nothing. Nobody has come out against me about my doctrine and what I teach. Nobody. All they can say is the guy's got a potty mouth. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll work on that, but why don't you tell me about how I am wrong about what I'm actually teaching? So, you know, that's how it is. That's how it is. Aaron Good at Max Bauer. Brian can't rightly tell what 1 Corinthians 15 1 2 is. I saw a video by Ed that Brian was trying to tell people what believing in vain means. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. <laughs> Poor Brian. <laughs> oh, he is Lordship Salvation person for sure. Yeah, Brian doesn't know anything. <laughs> the guy's the guy's explanation of the gospel is hilarious. That's question your salvation. Oh man. Oh man. Do I need to question my salvation? Yep. Oh, is my wife a little bit different color than me? Oh, I must not be saved. <laughs> what a moron. What a moron. Are you a pagan? Did you believe in the Trinity pagan doctrine? You're not saved. Yeah, that's ridiculous too. I mean, I'll I will say this, you know, when I was first saved and was just reading the Bible, I believed in a monotheistic um Jesus is the Father, is the Holy Spirit, just in my own understanding. And coming after that, I'm looking through all the different scriptures and what teachers are saying about it. And I'm like, well, the Trinity makes sense. So that's what I roll with. I don't make that a salvation issue. I don't think that it is. It's a doctrine issue, but salvation issue. No, Brian, it's a salvation issue. You have to believe that Jesus Christ is the Holy spirit is God. The father is this. And he's also a white man. <laughs> God. I mean, it, it, it's stupid. You know, that's one of those things where, like, you know, I'm a Trinitarian, but I'm not, like, steadfast firm in that. It's not uh, something that has anything to do with anybody's salvation, what their concept of God is. 
The things that have to do with salvation are, do you believe you're a sinner? <laughs> do you believe Jesus Christ lived and he was God come down on the earth? Do you believe he shed his blood to pay for your sin? Do you believe that he rose from the dead? That's salvation. And that's the biggest things. Um, and the racism thing is really going to tick me off, man. Because it's like, yeah, you're saved. Unless you're, unless you're this color, then you're not saved. And that thing against going uh, against interracial marriage, that's, man, that's racist too, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 I don't, and it's not Christian. And there's no reason to talk about that. And there are some people out there who have their own personal beliefs about you know, marriage and, um, and things like that. People who just, they, they choose not to interracially marriage, marry for whatever reason, but they don't make it a doctrine. Like they say, you're going to hell. If you do this, Brian Dunninger is one of those people who goes out there and says, you're going to hell if you go to interracial marriage. So, If you don't want to interracial marriage, don't do it. Not a big deal. It has nothing to do with Christianity. Nothing at all. I definitely remember that verse where Jesus said it is finished for mostly white people. Definitely oh, remember that. It, it, it's only white people. <laughs> well, man, you're messed up now. You're messed up now. We are the light. You're a dark person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> dark person alright <clears throat> we'll go for about another 10 minutes uh, Ronco the third not only that he said the Midianish woman and people couldn't marry due to the races when scripture clearly says they went after false gods and not the god of his yes absolutely right and they're going to bring up numbers 25 um, Brian Denninger in particular is going to bring up numbers 25 where they stabbed the Midianite woman and some dude. Um, they just call him an Israelite, so he wasn't very important. But he was a jerk. He went up there and just strutted his stuff and brought his little whore in, and they they stabbed the dude. That's that's what's going on there. Numbers twenty five. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the race at all. It had to do with idol worship. Idol worship. At We Are the Light, why do you say Jesus is the Father? Oh, well, stop, oh. stop. Oh, are you a, a modalist? Uh, no. Okay. Someone's no, asking why I'm... you say Jesus is the Father. Yeah, I do. Okay. So you're a modalist. Well, because the thing is, modalism, I don't believe in modalism. Modalism says that the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost are three different modes. I don't see that in scripture. Oh, I think they're all the same, all at the same time. Yeah, the same person. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see. <laughs> Isn't this funny? I'm like, <laughs> I believe in the Trinity. I don't care. This guy believes in modalism. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't say I don't say you're unsafe. <laughs> no. You're, you're like, safe. <laughs> obviously you're lost because you have a different concept of God than I do. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely mm. not. Mm-hmm. Mark Lester. Hey, uh, hey, a back. Uh, I reckon Brian's already on the slippery slope, gaining speed and heaping for a crash at the bottom of the hill <laughs> once he climbed. Sky everlasting. We'll see. We'll see. I think this guy is going to keep on being the bane of my existence for a long, long, long time. That's just how I see it. Um, it could be. Hopefully this guy is gone. Um, like I said, what m really bothers me, this guy can be a Lordship salvation dude. He can be, you know, modalist, whatever. I don't care. But then he, he talks about interracial marriage as being a sin and stuff. And I'm like, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get you on that. I'm going to have to get you. And he keeps on coming out with the stuff. Why? Why? What benefit is it of to the body of Christ? I mean, it isn't. Nothing. And 
that ticks me off and that's why i'm basically making this video and i've had comments on my thing because you know of course i'm going after brian brian people are after me fine whatever you know but if the worst thing you have to say is that i said crap in a video <laughs> that's the worst thing that you have to say to me <laughs> i think i'm in a pretty good stand <laughs> i think I, I think i'm pretty good cool. i think i'm pretty good joseph cool. represented jesus and we are the the coat of many colors, which represents the body of Christ. It's very true. Last generation. Yep. At Max Bauer, I reckon Brian's already slippery slope. I think I already read that one. Crash the bottom of hell. Well, I guess you have to pay for the gas for his four wheelers to go crash in the bottom of hell. He already paid for his four wheel drive, um, little taxi cab or whatever. <laughs> Sky Everlasting, we ought to be more concerned with poor folk who believe him that are in interracial marriages and think they have to get out of them. That is sad. That's the reason that I'm doing the video. Sky Everlasting. That's the exact reason. So, um, it's, it's, you know, satanic. I don't, <clears throat> I don't want to, you know, go too over the top with, with stuff like this, but When you're basing somebody's salvation on the color of their skin and the kind of life you can live with them and your love for them or something based on the color of their skin, you are a racist. Hmm. You are a racist. And if you go out there and you go teach this stuff over, I mean, it's not like Brian, he said it once a couple of years ago and I'm like, what? But he keeps doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it again and again and again. He hates everybody other than white people. So you have to understand when you watch these people that they're teaching you garbage. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing else I can say about that. Teaching you garbage. Does nobody out there else know anybody in an interracial marriage? Everybody in every family has interracial marriage. Everybody. We're in America. And you have this idiot out there who says, I am the best pastor in the world. And white people are the best. You guys go be German. And yeah, you, should only, you should only marry your own race. That is satanic. And I hate that. And I there isn't too much more, you know, like if I was feeling better, I probably would have a lot <clears throat> more to say about it. But, you know, I don't. I mean, this is a bad man. This is a bad man. Regardless, a lot of people want to, um, um, you know, be mad at Robert Breaker, um, be mad at me about things that they say, but they're not going out there and going, hey, if you're a different color than me, I can't have fellowship with you. Brian Denlinger is the only one who is saying that. Okay. Brian Denlinger says the color of your skin di dictates. And that lie too, that they're saying, Oh, well, God wants to separate the races. Like that's not true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Where did that? He, I know. He actually Where did that separated the languages. Where did he say separated the races? Yeah. Nowhere in scripture. You see that. And, you know, it says God separates the nations. You know, he set the bounds of the nations, but nowhere see the bounds of the races. And he says, if you're in the body of Christ, you have to be one. Amen. He doesn't say be. Oh, you're white. You go here and marry only these people. Oh, yeah. Um, that's a, that's the whole thing that I don't know about. And that's a whole big Bible study is about what happened with Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And I'm like... It, it, According to what Bible is teaching or what people teach of the Bible, Shem, the Jew guy, Ham, the black guy, Japheth, the white guy. And apparently that's how the races came by. Well, I don't believe that. I, where does that, there doesn't say that in the Bible. It says that they, they went off to their own little habitation places and 
how can they you what you popped out an asian kid and you popped out a white kid and you popped out a black kid come on doesn't make any sense <laughs> there has to be something different going on there and i i don't believe in any of that and that's just me but yeah yeah and then they say kindred is the same as race no kindred <laughs> is relate no. relate related by blood or marriage that's a kindred but and then someone says nobody is pure race well yeah that's true in the sense no one yeah no one's pure race because there's intermingling but in the sense of people from the same descendant there are pure races though like there's for example there's a pure race of everyone coming down from adam that's oh, a yeah, pure race see <laughs> You know, oh, yeah, and then Brian talks about there is no such thing as one human race. I'm like, well, obviously, there is. You read your Bible, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Amen. amen. You have to rightly divide the definitions. Well, just read the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> People are gonna get mad at me about that, but I'm like, just read the book. Just You're not giving your hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I think I already messed that up. I'm pretty sure Valerie's going to be mad at me. That's all right. Just keep it a secret. Uh, well, it's pretty hard when it's on uh, YouTube Live. Well, well, we'll do the best we can. We'll do the best we can. Um, <laughs> oh, no. race Aragon. So if black is a albino, well, that happens. And yeah, we don't we don't care. We don't care if you're black or white. <laughs> you gotta uh, go. We just don't. Christian or Christian. That's how it is. You gotta go change your genetics. Oh, yeah. Go in there and, uh, you know, do the, what is it, uh, 007 or something and put the things on your thumbs and go in there and put the different DNA in there. Yeah. Oh, don't. No, no. What about Paul Begley? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> come on. Don't make me do Paul Begley. I'm, I'm too tired and sick for Paul Begley. <laughs> I mean, seriously. TV carve. What? You, I'm going to do Paul Begley now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. No, Max. No. <sighs> oh, no. Hello, here we come. We're coming down. We got Jesus Christ We're coming down. If you go donate to my ministry, we'll have you some power. Some power coming down to your life. It's Paul Begley. We're going to have power. It's coming down from my life. Yeah, give me a new. <laughs> I, think I, I think I need a new house. You're going to give it. Just give me the money. Just give it the money. And believe in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just got saved. There you go. Are you there serious? You yep. So that's that's Paul Bagley. <sighs> Some, that sounded like it hurt. Huh? Sounded like it hurt. Yeah, it does. I mean, you know, I can do that for a little bit. I like doing Paul Bagley, but I don't have an actual whole character right up a bone. Uh, he is pretty funny though, because that's exactly what he looks like. You can just click on any video, Paul Begley. That's it's going to be carnival, carnival preaching. Every single video, click on it. Hey, give me money! I, I need money. That's that's the guy. That's you can make is. a you can make a character called Saul Gregory. <clears throat> I called him Paul Bigler. <laughs> that was my my character. Oh, Paul. Uh, Natalie, what the heck did I walk in on? <laughs> We're talking about racism. We're talking about racism. <laughs> Paul Bagley. <laughs> oh, I call him Big Liar. Yeah, he's a beggar. <laughs> Beg Liar. I was I was gonna do Beg Liar, but I thought Big Liar would be good. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna have my thing. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be in my Patreon. Gonna be a thing. Um. Now do Brian Sky Everlasting? No, I don't oh, think I can. 
I'm I'm not feeling well today. <laughs> I'm really out out of energy, and I'm really not on the top of my game. I don't think I could do Brian. I could maybe try it, but <laughs> I don't th I don't think so. Uh, Get some coffee. <laughs> I don't maybe. think coffee's gonna help. No, right. I don't know. It's freaking eleven o'clock. I don't even. I don't even think I have his costume up here. It's eleven o'clock. When is the dung slinger coming? Everybody wants the dung slinger. Why does everybody like the dung slinger? You guys like dung slinger more than you like me. What are you doing? Subscribe and like to my channel. Forget the dung slinger. <laughs> he slings dung everywhere. Uh, well, <sighs> I, I can I can do the dung slinger for like five minutes. Yeah. All right. Hi, Max. Hey, man, what's up? Yeah, I'm, you got I'm, on. How'd you get yeah. on? Uh, Google, uh, uh, Chrome, mate. Oh yeah, well there you are, man. Now you're up. Yep. All right. Good to see you. This is Jason, Jason in Australia, who is up there sitting, probably sun tanning himself while I'm freezing my butt off in my backyard. Uh, yeah. yeah. Four o'clock on fr Friday afternoon here. Yeah. Well, for me, it's like eleven. <laughs> it's eleven at night. Yeah, it's eleven here. All right, Jason, how you doing? Good. At least now I can um uh go on uh live sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. I was wondering if. It, well, I'm glad you can come up. I'm really glad you can come up. Yep. Jason, everybody. Jason out there at uh, the Bill ABC TV, I think, is your channel? Yeah, I've got eight ch channels. Yep. All right. Well, throw up one of them. People know uh, who you are. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I log on for, for different things and backup ch channels as well. H oh, yeah. Have you? You seen um, Bible but Berean's uh, uh, latest video on Brian on the interracial m marriage? No, I haven't. I saw the one that he had after that, but not the interracial marriage one because I did my own video on that and yep. I thought I pretty well covered it. And that's what I'm doing tonight is like, yep. if you follow the guy, you're a racist. <laughs> and yep. that's, that's I, what I I'm doing. Follow. But I'm subscribed because I can keep an eye on. Oh yeah. Him. Oh yeah. But see, people like us who make YouTube videos, we have to keep subscribed to people so we can know what they're doing. Um, yep. Other people out there, no. <laughs> if you're just commenting on stuff and you're subscribed to um, Dung Slinger, uh, you're a racist. <laughs> you're a racist. <laughs> Do you like that stuff? You send them twenty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. You won't you won't believe it, Jason. We have a black man on the on the on the panel. It's hey Jason. <laughs> I, I, it doesn't bother me what we all come from, from Adam and Eve anyway. Amen. Yep. We're all of one blood. Yep. And blood doesn't mean the liquid blood, it means the kindred <laughs> blood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we are. Um, I can do I can do a little Max Bauer uh, or Max Dungslinger oh, uh, satire. If you want to do that, otherwise, if anyone has any questions, go ahead and throw them up. We got Jason here. We have We Out of Light, Pancake Cow, and myself. Um, I think I covered all the questions that I had for me. Uh, do you guys want to talk to Max Dunkslinger? Oh, <laughs> you probably call me a heretic. I want a heretic. <laughs> no, I think it's 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 appropriate to make fun of it because the only time they get any real response from people is when I actually make fun of them, and I think it's fairly appropriate and <laughs> like. In this day and age, being racist over Christianity, it's like, what? What? What are you talking about? 
And you have to point that stuff out to people because otherwise they won't get it. And I use coarse language sometimes to break through their head of these things that they have in their head about who so-and-so is. And I go in there and say, that's BS. And they're like, oh, you said a bad one. Why do you say that? And then they look up and they go, oh, gee, this guy was right. That's how it is. That's how it is. But I'm not going to do it anymore. Well, I won't say that. I'll say I won't do it as much anymore. <laughs> Everybody's asking for Dung Slinger. Everyone wants Dung Slinger? All right. Well, I can do Dung Slinger for like 10 minutes. Like I said, I'm tired. Oh, God. Oh yep. God! Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna g g go now. Anyway, yep. All right, Jason. Okay, okay. Bye. 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 Blessings. All right. Well, I have to find my belt and then my suspenders and then my flannel and then uh, my duck boots and uh, <laughs> I think I need my white bedsheet hood. How all this stuff that I have to get? What are you talking about here? All right. Well, I think I can do it for a couple of minutes. Just do John, just do Dung Slinger's face, Guy Everlasting. All right. Well, I will be back in two minutes, and I'll I'll put the stuff on, and uh, I'll do it for a couple of minutes. All right. Like I said, I don't feel good. I'm kind of tired. All right. Do you guys get a goal? Go, good to roll. Pancake? Yeah. We are to light? Yeah. All right. Well, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Because I'm <laughs> gonna go, I got to go dress up. All right. Okay. Oh. How you doing, Pancake? I'm doing fine. Just looking at the chat and see what people are saying. Yeah. I used to start watching Brian Dellinger and I don't really like the dude. He's a racist. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just we're all just all made of one blood. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I don't. Just imagine if you was a different race, you would have a way different opinion. Mm. But mm. I wonder if, how it feels to have belt and suspenders on. What's that? No, I wonder how it feels. To have belt and suspender on, almost <laughs> you don't want, you really don't want your pants to fall down. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I did too. The man is so full of pride in that pockets. Yeah, mm -hmm. he tends to take a lot of scripture out of context. I find, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't. I haven't seen him use one Bible verse to back up his point on the interracial marriage at all. Mm. But I don't watch him that much because that's the thing. They're not. They're not taking the Bible as it says. They're just. He's just finding a verse on like fornication or something, and and, and it's just oh, see, it's okay. I'm just making it up to be interracial marriage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's their that's their presupposition. They just make it, they make interracial marriage fornication when the Bible never says it's fornication. Where is this? Never says that. I'm gonna try to find that verse where it says we are all one in Christ Jesus. Let me see. I don't know what you're all talking about. Hmm? Racism. Yeah. White people need to be with white people. Why are you asking us? You're the one who's dressing up as Dunk Slinger. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. Because uh, Galatians 3.28. I'm going to put on my mic. Cause I'm... 
There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, that's true. I am going to put the, my mic on. Because I don't have a mic right now currently. Well, it's Max Dunkslinger here. We're going to talk about how you need to give me money because I need a four-wheel drive. Uh, I bought a bad car and you need to buy me a new one. Um, my four-wheeler needs gas too. I need that. Just want to let everybody know. If you're not if you're not doing that, you're you're a bad Christian. You're bad. Not following the body of Christ. You know, you're out there in your interracial marriages, you're all going to hell. And that's what I have to say about that. Oh, uh, Max, what? I mean, Dunkslinger, what do you have to back up your point? I have um, James 1. It says works. It says works without faith or that's faith James without too. works. Don't correct me. <laughs> I'm going to come over there and beat you. I'll run over you with my four-wheel drive ambulance. I have, I have scripture that says that um, I can uh, sit at home and preach to you, and you can't say anything about it. So give me money, and uh, you know we want more four-wheel drive uh, ambulances, and uh, we want a lot more uh, property that we can't use that the body of Christ ain't going to use either, but we want more of it because, you know, eh, we're Christians. What happened to your Afro? I have my Afro. My Afro is over there. Hey, you want my, you want my Afro, bro? <laughs> This see, y'all you know, make me break character all the time. That's why this stuff never works. <laughs> there you go. Where am I at, bro? <laughs> y'all happy now? Forgetting, you, you're forgetting the beard. Oh, I have a good enough beard. It's close <laughs> enough. It's close enough. So what everybody needs to do is actually keep supporting my ministry and um, giving me money. By support, I really don't mean prayer. I just mean money. And if you're lost, um, I'm not going to refund your money. I know I won't I said I won't take it, but you know, if you give it to me, I'm just going to take it. Anyways, if you're lost. Um, keep sending more money because I won't feel as bad about taking money from lost people as I do about saved people. So I just wanted to say that and um, please support me and my wife and support my kid who is off the grid. Um, he's out building a tent right now so that he can live up, you know, up until he's 16 he can have a, a, a Flintstones car. He's building one. <laughs> Uh, that's what's going on, and and you know, please support my lifestyle, that I can have two or three computers, and uh, you live out there. But you know, the wife and the kid, they can, you know, they can build Flintstones cars. And they're gonna be good. There you have it. See how we put on the thing, and I can't see anymore. <laughs> What do you think about the Jesuits? <laughs> the Jesuits. Jesuits are under your bed. Jesuits are everywhere. The Jesuits control this country. The Jesuits are the ones who are responsible for your salvation. They are the ones who are scared of Christ. It's the Jesuits and the Catholic people. They're out there. They're out there. You go, okay. Jesuits. Jesuit school. You went to a Jesuit school with some guy with Jesuit name. You're a Jesuit. You're a Jesuit. 
a Dunsinger. What? Can I get interracially married? No. <laughs> no, you can't. You have to live within the bounds of your habitation. You have to live within the bounds of your habitation. You're a black man. You should be in Ethiopia. You should be in Africa. You shouldn't be in America. <laughs> unless, unless, unless we actually pulled you over here from Africa. But that's a different subject. You still can't marry white people. You still can't marry white people. It's not happening. All right. Any more questions? <laughs> Start getting riled up. People lie about me. Well, of course people lie about me. They get people's out there. Ed Pile Driver out there says <laughs> doctrinal things that completely debunk me. <laughs> He's a heretic. We have Max Bauer out there completely debunks me. Well, that guy went to jail one time. She's gone. No, no, not having head. No, we're going to have last generation. He comes up and he has something to say about me. And he's mostly right about everything. But he's a heretic too. He's a heretic. You don't come down. Be part of my, you can't be part of my salvation. And what I have to say, unless you're a true believer. In Jesus Christ, all those other people are heretics. They're all heretics. Especially if you're a different color than me. Yeah. That's how it is. All right. No, we hey. don't know. <laughs> hey, dunk singer. Yeah. I sinned. Well, if you sinned, you better call back. Call on the name of the Lord. If you don't call in the name of the Lord, you don't repent of that sin, then you were never saved to begin with. You were never <laughs> saved! Do you understand? You're a heathen going to hell. You're never saved. You're never saved. Not going to happen. You better repent right now. Get on your knees. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord to save you. Ask him. <laughs> I'm all over the top. <laughs> so it is. All right. I'm I'm done with this costume stuff. I'm gonna go off of this. Uh. Uh. You hairy tick. Huh? What am? Oh, nothing. All right. I still have to unbuckle from all my safety harnesses. Bro, I throw my voice out too much. It's a safety harness. Anyways, that was fun. I like doing that. I wasn't prepared to do it. But, you know, it's fun. Making fun of the dude because that's literally how silly the guy is. <laughs> that's how literally silly his doctrine is. It's stupid. <laughs> you look at him. And you have to laugh at it. That's why, that's why I do what I do. Okay? It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. Poor Brian. Yeah, poor Brian, my butt. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Everyone who wants to help him move, you can just give him $40,000. That's what his newest thing is. Just tell him, oh, give me $40,000. Yeah, as definitely. long as you're not interracially married, what a dumb, dumb guy. That's how it is. Yeah, like I have forty thousand dollars laying around. Oh yeah, no, he doesn't either. That's why he's asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you guys got anything else to say? Otherwise, we're gonna call it. I did my little thing. Like I said, I'm not. Um, I'm a little bit under the weather. Not really on top of it. So. What do you got? We are the light. Yeah. You're still black. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You're Does still this black? look black? <laughs> no, I don't know. You look kind of Indian. 
<laughs> is that is that still black? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. The guy's a different color than me. <laughs> He's a different color than me. What do you think, Pancake? Uh, just all this racism stuff, like I said, is just dumb. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It's very bad. And it's not, you know, I want to nip it in the bud, okay? As putting up my position, as where people are attacking me about, you know, they're going after me for things that aren't having anything to do with racism or anything like that. So I want to nip it and just put out my thing and by doing a live stream I have everybody out there who can say whatever the heck they want to and I'm still going to treat them with respect and um, do my thing that's it you know and we're talking about you know racism is not Christianity there is nothing about racism that's Christianity nothing nothing so anybody who tries to put that on you is a liar lying Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Yeah. So there we have it, and that's what we got. <laughs> Any closing comments? Otherwise, we'll shut her down. I think we yeah. covered most of it. All righty. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for coming on, and uh, thank you all for joining in chat. Um, next Tuesday, we're going to do something. It's either going to be about. Um, homeschooling, which is what I want to do. Um, Robert does maybe not want to do that. Robert and Brett don't, but they both homeschool. I want to do that. And if it's not that, it will be on um, atheism, agnosticism, something like that. So that's what's going on for next Tuesday. And that's what's that's what the deal is, man. So there we go. And mm -hmm. we will Talk to you later. See ya.